Look here, Grandma. I've already told you several times, damn it. I can't help you. I can't do it. I don't want to interfere. I don't want to get involved. Now, now it's your storm. You got to go through this. It, it's not the end of the world. It's not. It's not. I, I don't want to get involved, okay? Now, now you di you, you're going to be okay, okay? No, God damn it. Grandma, look here. I don't want to get involved, okay? Now, talk to you later. Damn, man. I don't get it, man. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's George Truth, Peter Ezel Parker. It's Friday. It's free game Friday. And I know y'all wondering, well, damn, Peter, why are you so hard on grandma's ass, you know? Well, let me tell you why, which is my free game anyway, you know. Um, grandma done got behind on the bills and shit and everything. Had a little gambling problem. You know, we all got a poison, right? So anyway, she's been calling me the last month or two, you know, asking me for money and everything. But, you know, she really wouldn't tell me for what. So, you know, I don't want to give her money if I don't know what the hell it's for. So I ride past her house, you know, um, yesterday. And God damn it, I see Grandma done got all her shit out on the yard. So they done put Grandma's ass out. Can you believe that they put Grandma's ass out? Well, Grandma got behind on the mortgage and shit, you know, because she wasn't paying it, and um, they put her ass out. So, you know, I rolled past her, you know, to make sure she was okay and everything, and she was fine, you know. She had her limbs and everything. Her mind was okay. She was crying a little bit, but she was physically okay, right? So, hell, I just kept on moving. You know, I kept on riding here. So she calling me, you know, like, Peter, how could you? You know, well, you're not going to help me. Oh, no. You know, I'm like, well, look here, Grandma. And this is my free game to you people, just as it is to Grandma. That's your storm, you know. You have to go through your own storms, especially if you created them. Now, some storms are going to come to us, God damn it, whether we like it or not. And we may not have, you know, goddamn started it or, 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 or you know, influenced the storm. But, goddamn it, a storm is a storm. And when it's yours, it's yours. And you have to deal with it. You understand that, people? So, Grandma got to go through that shit. I don't want to get involved. Because, you know what? The more and more times people help you get out of your own storm, you're never learning. You're never becoming that, that, that person that you need to become. And the person you need to become is that, you know, goddamn, I'm going to make it happen. You know, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Because when you're helping people out of their storms all the time, they're weak and they come, they become dependent on you. And they never learn shit, damn it. So I need grandma to learn a few lessons. And I need you people to understand that. Don't think the world is going to end because you're going through some shit. Do you ever think about this? How many fucking people you know that done been through a lot of bullshit and you see them later on in life and you be like, well, damn, how'd you do that shit? Damn, they're doing way better than they ever done before. It's because they went through their storm and they survived that storm and got out of that shit. So, you know, I have people always call me, you know, my partner call me, oh, Peter, my wife cheating on me. Or, or God damn it, you know, oh, my boss is getting on my ass. Oh, I can't stand my coworkers. Oh, I ran out of gas. Oh, I got a flat tire. Oh, the world is just going against me. Everybody hates me. Why me? Why me? Shut the fuck up, people. It's not why you, why you. It's just your turn to go through that shit. It's your turn to goddamn get cheated on. It's your turn to goddamn deal with a shitty ass boss. If you had good ass bosses all your life, you're not gonna really appreciate them until you have a shitty boss. Or you may be that shitty boss. I don't know, but goddammit, when is your storm? It's your storm, and you gotta go through that shit, people. Many people have been through what you've been through right now, right goddamn now. You goddamn going through something right now. There are some people that survived that shit you're going through. So don't think it's just you against the world. It's not, people. It's gonna be okay. Get through your storm. Survive your storm. It's going to be okay. You can make it. You can do this shit, damn it. I guarantee you, you can make it. Because people have. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others, but you will get through your storm. I promise you that. Figure out solutions on your own. Get through your own storm. Stop asking people to help you, and when they can't help you, you're mad at the world. No, it's your turn to go through your storm. Go through your shit. And grandma got to go through her storm, damn it. And I don't feel no kind of way about it. 
Now, I am hoping that she invites me to all the rest of the Sunday dinners and, and goddamn Thanksgiving and everything once she get back on her feet and all. I'm just hoping I still had that open invite. I didn't really think about that part. Damn, I need to call Grandma's ass. That's my free game Friday. From your true Peter Ezel Parker. It's just your turn, people, to go through your storm. You will be okay, people. It's just your turn to go through that bullshit.